Welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. Hey, 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. It's a number that's ridiculous. It's staggering. It's 8,030 a year. So veterans, listen to me. All I can do is try to raise awareness. That's why we mention it every video. We're going to mention it every video. Two things I need you to know, vets. One, you have a place here, not just on my channel, but in this knife community. Two, I love you very much. I really do. I respect your service. I respect your sacrifice. Can't say I appreciate it. Never been in the military. Never want to get off that vibe. Well, we back to blue over here and we support Leo. How do you do that, Scab? We don't break the damn law. And finally, if you are an addict like I am, you never quit quitting. Over my shoulder, you see the purple handkerchief that I carry every day of my life. One year ago to, to the day, to this day, about to this time, I filmed a video with my boy E, my brother from another mother. One of probably five or six who literally, literally, I consider blood. We were going to start a segment every Friday. We were going to get together and we were going to be accountable to each other. See, we both fought the same demons, same addictions. I spent the whole day with my boy and I loved him and we had a great time. We talked about life. We talked about all kinds. He had just got out of rehab and I hadn't been clean long and we were making plans. It's the last time I ever talked to E face to face. He passed away the next week. Now, this ain't gonna be a sad video. I, I can't, I've cried all day, I'm just being honest with you. I told you from the giddy up, we're gonna be real and we're gonna be honest. If that's not for you, man, God bless you. It, but this probably ain't your channel. So what we're gonna do today, I've cried all day. It's been rough, I ain't lying. And I'm like, what can I do? What can I do to respect and remember a dude I love? I can chop some shit up. The video we shot was between was a was part of our Tomahawk Palooza. So I brought out a bunch of cold steel, son, because if Lynn Thompson can't put you in a good mood, nobody can. Not gonna talk a lot, don't need to. I got my rifleman's hawk right here with the long uh, handle on it. I've got my Chinese war sword and my katana, both machetes from Cold Steel. I've got my Hudson Bay Hawk right there. Now listen, dear tree-hugging friends whom I love, oh, so dearly. Everything in here's gotta come out, everything. They're making a, 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 a I about said suburbia. What the hell do you call it? A neighborhood, a neighborhood. So, it's gotta come out, I got permission, we're going to chop some shit up. I'm going to try to process everything I use. I'm using the Cold Steel Rifleman's Hawk 1055 steel. I put the longer handle on it. Actually, I swapped this in my War Hammer. The War Hammer will make an appearance, uh, but I'm not going to batter a tree to death. You know what I'm saying? So, going to be a Cold steel -a -thon. We're going to use the 4-Max that my guy DJ Horn reprofiled, and it is sharp. Ooh, it'll cut you, son. We're going to use the Tiger Claw. We're going to use the Recon XL. We're going to use all the cold steel I have in my truck. So without any further ado, meet me in the woods. Won't you? Well, thank you, Scab. Doing a little dramatic walking off into the woods there. Had to change our plan a little bit today, guys. I wanted to use a lot more stuff than what I did. And honestly, I just got wrapped up out here in the woods and uh, said to hell with it. So we're going to use the Cold Steel Rifleman's Hawk, the Hudson Bay. We're going to use the Chinese War Machete and the Katana Machete and the War Hammer. And we'll do the other stuff uh, another day. And there's old scab. Uh, going ahead and tearing up his equipment. Good job there, buddy. I just decided to leave this in. There I am, looking good, looking stunned. Drop the tree right on it. Now, we're going to start off with the Chinese War Sword. This is one of Megatron's favorites. And let me just say this right here. The only knock that I can give Cold Steel's machetes are their handles. 
of all the cold steel machetes, and I've got eight or nine of them, this is my favorite handle. Now, it, polypropylene, whatever you want to call it, is plastic, okay? And somebody will say, oh, scab, it's, you know, fiberglass and, few, and all. Yeah, it's plastic with fiberglass, and that's great. And it's not a bad handle. This one's not. But, you know, most cold steel machetes, or most of the ones I bought, that's all I can speak to, were between, I think, 20 and 40 bucks. Uh, I think the Katana machete might have been a little bit more. I do know I paid $37 each. Uh, I bought two Chinese war swords, and I'm glad I did. I absolutely love them. I've been asked if they're too heavy. No, Megan swung it last week fairly easily. I will say this, it is more heavy than say a Martindale or a Tramatina or something along those lines. You know, and somebody's asked, Scab, how does it hold up against them? Well, you know, if it's a Martindale and a 36 inch blade, that, you know, it's just totally different. Different applications uh, for different things. If you just want to look totally badass, you want to go with cold steel, you know. Uh, nobody thinks a thing about a grown ass man at 50 years old walking into the woods with a Chinese war sword machete or a katana machete. You know, not a thing's thought about it. So, and I went ahead and talked to one of the neighbors that was over here and let him know what I was doing uh, since I'm over by this haunted ass church. Now, let me say this before I get too far in. I got a shout out. Guy hit me up today, said, man, would you check me out? And that's Pistol Pete. I watched a couple of his videos. I really enjoyed him. He tests his stuff. That's big with me. Um, I'm a fan of his. So I'm gonna put a link in the description. At time of shout out, I think he's got around 49 subscribers. Let's see if we can't help him out, guys. That, that's what this community does. It brings people together. Pete does a good job. I put a thing on Instagram and hopefully some of y'all have already went over. Some of you were already there. I mean, y'all are just already Johnny on the spot and I appreciate and love y'all so much. The other thing is this, my guy Grugs changed his channel name to Legion Tactical. Let's get over there. I'll put his link in the description. Those are my two shout outs, Legion uh, Tactical and Pistol Pete. Now, back to the Chinese war sword. Here's the thing that I love about cold steel machetes. They are heavy duty. Now, again, it's different applications. I basically turn this one into a ax or a tomahawk and it held up fine. That's why I like carrying this machete. And it's just fun. I mean, you know, I know that people get all worked up, you know, Scab, you need to be more serious. For what? For what? We're damn near 2,000 subs. Life is serious enough. If you can't tell by this video that this machete works, and that is the point of my videos. I'm just naturally humorous. A terrible cinematographer have wonderful melodious tones, and incredibly humble. I really wish y'all could have seen what I was chopping there uh, because it was impressive as hell. But again, the old cinematographic skills are just not there. And I'm gonna look over here in a minute. There we go. Look at the ease of which old scabber's swinging. Now, I will say this. I've gotten a lot more comfortable since I've dropped the 60 pounds, honest to God. And people say, well, yeah, but I mean, seriously, I just feel more comfortable especially when I pay attention to make sure that I'm on the camera. Now, here is Cold Steel's Rifleman's Hawk. I swapped the handles with the Warhammer. Why? In my opinion, and this is my opinion only, take it for what you will, that the Rifleman's Hawk, the head, to me is a little too heavy for an everyday tomahawk. So I put a put a, a 30 inch handle on it and just made it a light medium ax. Um, it's friction fit, I can take it apart, I can easily transport it if I need to. I can sharpen up the head of that ax to where I can use it on its own if I was put in that, you know, if I needed to use that ax for some kind of knife, I could readily do that. Now, I absolutely despise the set screw despise it. So I usually take mine out, sand them down real good, and just use the straight friction fit. Now, I'll say this again, and I'll say it uh, throughout the video. 
they're clear cutting all of this. So before somebody says, oh, Skip, you just cut down trees. Yeah, I know that. They're gonna come down anyway, and I'm gonna use this wood. I'm gonna use it for a lot of different applications now. Now to now now. Having said that, I am also very careful. I try to find some of the trees. There's a lot of these that were near dead. This is an old wetland area and it is tough for stuff to grow. You can see, if you pay attention to the ground there, you can see this just ain't normal woods. It, it, it's been old swamp. So we're out there banging and beating a little bit. Now, ever since, uh, when I first did my first couple videos swinging a tomahawk, Carl Ruger was like, brother, if you take some steeper angles, you'll cut it a lot faster. Now, when a man like Carl gives you some advice, you take it. Why? Because Carl lives it. You know what I'm saying? My guy's got a huge farm. He does this every day. Carl, I, I'm, in, I'm forever in your debt, brother. Now, here's the Hudson Bay Tomahawk. This is my favorite cold steel hawk. This is more of a traditional hatchet tomahawk type deal very well balanced it's all 1055 all of it and and cold steel uses that a lot and i'm not uh i don't really have an opinion on it either way it sharpens up really good it's easy to maintain um all of the stuff that i have i mean all of the, whether it's a machete or whether it's a tomahawk or or whatever i've only had one maybe two issues ever with cold steel heat treat and i say that owning over 90 pieces of cold steel now here we are doing a little work uh, with the hudson bay i like that hudson bay because you can one hand it or you can two hand it and it's very very comfortable now there are some of those vines i'm always telling y'all about got both of these trees hung up so i cut a lot of this wood threw it in the back of the truck Going to use some of it for Fort Scab Tongaroga. Um, going to use some of it for some more chopping videos coming up. Prices of wood are going down, but I tell y'all, it's expensive as hell still. So if I can get out and process my own wood, use it for some of these tests, hell yeah. And again, all this stuff's coming down. They're making a neighborhood, which sucks, but, you know, it's better I use it than a bunch of bulldozers come in and run over it. Plus, there's burning millions of acres in the Amazon every day. Y'all give them some shit and leave old scab alone. I don't even know how we got on that. We'll move on. Now, now to now now. For some of us, we're rapidly heading towards fall. In Florida, you have two seasons. Summer, which is hot as balls, and then you have two weeks of late fall. And that's it. But, all around the other, everywhere else in the country, you guys that have normal seasons, one of these Hudson Bay Hawks would probably do you good during the winter for doing some camping. Again, friction fit, you can break it down, it's easily transportable, and I tell you the truth, you can make the handle any size you want. I mean, any size you want, whatever's comfortable for you. That's why I did that with the uh, war hammer. For me, I don't want some long handle. I like a short, up close, something, you know, that I can get down with to get down with. Now, let's be realistic. I'm not gonna use a war hammer to frame a house. A war hammer is used for one thing, war hammering. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, I'll never have to use it uh, in said mode. Or at least I hope not, but if I do, I've got it contoured exactly the way I want it. Guys, I can't stress that to y'all enough. These cold steel tomahawks, machetes, mod them to your liking. Practice with them, use them. Make it to where it's an extension of you. I don't care if you take martial, I don't care what you take. Practice with your stuff. Know your stuff. Now here we got the cold steel katana. I hate the handle. I love the blade. I mean, everybody loves a katana, and this looks just like one. I mean, a bigger version, and no, it doesn't handle like one, for the love of the Lord. I've, I've actually blessed enough now to have one nice katana, well, three nice katanas, hell. I, Ken gave me two uh, cutters. I'm giving one away. I got three decent katanas, 
And no, they're nothing like a cold steel machete. I know that. I'm well aware of that. Thank you for pointing that out. Now, you say, Scab, what in the hell are you talking? Well, nothing. I'm just rambling. Yeah, I got to fill up 17 minutes somehow, guys. Work with me. Now, there's, I, I can't explain the handle to you. I know that a lot of people, the katana shape is their favorite cold steel machete. And I get it, man. You do you. If the handle was, like if the Chinese war sword handle was on the cold steel katana machete, it would probably be my favorite. Well, I don't know. That that Chinese war sword is just badass, son. I mean, it's just, it's heavy. It's heavy duty. And when I say heavy, not backbreakingly. I mean, you we turned it into a damn axe, essentially, and cut everything we needed to relatively easy. Now, here we are just, I wanted to clear a little brush with this thing. They are standard machete, guys. I cut some trees with them, yes. Uh, no chipping, no edge damage, no rolling, none of that. Everything held up really well, and I had a blast, man. I needed this today. I miss my boy E every day. And my heart goes out to his his uh, wife, Tina. Tina is one of our Discord um, managers, auditors, whatever the hell you call them. She helps me out in a ton of ways. And Tina, honey, I'm thinking of you and Joseph and Savannah today. And I love y'all to death. You know that. Next week, if I can work my schedule correctly, on next Saturday, I'm going to try to do a video with the entire Smith family. Well, guys, we're coming on down to it. We got about a minute. I want to rehash uh, my shout outs to you. Remember to check those guys out. That's important to me if you would do that. Support them. Love them. My guy, Mikey, says it best. He said, Scab, never give up, never surrender, and everything will be okay. And Mikey's true. Now here we got the Warhammer doing some devastating Warhammer stuff. And you guys check that out. I'll put a link to Discord. Come join us there. I love y'all. God knows I do. God bless y'all. I hope he will. Oop, misfire. There we go. I'm Scab. You're not. And I'm gone, son. I was gone way too early, son. Love y'all. I'm out.